What's up, guys? Leopold the Brave here. Um, hold on. Click. Stop it. Ugh. Pop ups. Something popped up. It was like a weird. I don't know how to describe it. Like, update for program, whatever. Um, anyways, yes, this is the April Fool's Day episode for Universes. I hope you all enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty, pretty good. Um, you know, in March, when I said I was taking a break, like before Maui vs. Hercules came out and after Croc vs. Banjo, when I was all like, oh, um, guys, I've been doing Universes for, like, straight since January or December or whatever. And I haven't had a break, so just a tiny break, okay? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I, I didn't take a break. I was working on this one. That's how I had this and Tales vs. Coco done so quickly, because this was already done, so all I had to work on was Tales vs. Coco. So I was covered. Woo! Um, so I hope you guys all enjoyed the episode. Um, hopefully I do decide to take an actual break soon so I don't run out of steam, because... I didn't take an actual break because I was making the this April Fool's episode. Uh, it's gonna be really hard doing this and Tales vs. Coco commentary like one day after another because I'm gonna end up spilling out some stuff I said about, I want to say about Coco vs. Tales in this one, and it's just gonna get all crisscrossed and messed up and woo. So I'll try and concentrate on this episode only, not Tales vs. Coco. I'll save it for Tales vs. Coco's commentary tomorrow. And I'm just rambling now. Um, so, out of all the joke fights I could have done, why that 70s show? <laughs> well, it is my favorite sitcom for some reason. I don't know why I find it so funny. It just is, even though it's definitely not the best out there. It's kind of cheesy compared to other hilarious sitcoms and all that and the verse has actual feats like falling off the water tower and they beat each other up a lot there's a lot of brawls that go on in the series like um eric fights a football fan or something and they all dogpile on him or whatever it's it's funny um so yeah there's just actual feats in the sitcom verse and i happened to be re-watching the sitcom at the time i came up with the idea to do a April Fool's episode, so it just happened. And I thought it was hilarious, and I thought it was actually accurate. And lots of people seem to agree. I didn't know there were so many That 70s Show fans out there, but lots of them knew the characters. They were all like, yay, my favorite character won, or, oh, I hoped Kelso won. I'm just surprised that so many people actually watched That 70s Show, because it seems like just... It seems like just one of those shows that no one knows about. Like... Um, I don't know how to describe it. Like, okay, Foot, Full House is the sitcom. Everyone knows Full House. But then you have, like, some other stuff. Like, uh, Everybody Hates Chris or something. I don't know if that counts as a sitcom, because it doesn't have a laugh track, but... I mean, it's still situation comedy, just things happening to a family. Um, but yeah, I never hear anyone talk about everyone, um, everyone hates Chris either. So I'm thinking, my plan is um, for every April Fool's to just do a battle royale of some random sitcom family. <laughs> but now I kind of have to change that idea because I just told you guys. I can't have you knowing all my April Fool's tricks. Um, and I'm already out of things to say. <laughs> It's just an April Fool's episode with that 70s show. So I guess that's that's all I really have to say. How many minutes has it been? Uh, it's been four minutes. I guess that's all right. It's halfway over. Um, so see you guys tomorrow for the Coco vs. Tails commentary. And I hope you enjoyed this one. Bye. How's that for a burn, Anyways, now